Today's gonna be the day I'm gonna try to defeat Hammerman's fleet on my starting over account. I've attacked Hammerman's fleet before, but I've never actually tried to beat Hammerman's fleet. And today, I think we have a shot, and we'll see, and we'll see. I don't know how it's gonna go. My weapon lab is level four. I can get uh, some tier two, some tier three, uh, really, tier 3 is the only thing that matter. We have the hop out, we have the microwaver. It's going to be a good day. I'm willing to buy three, gym them up, and it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. I honestly have no, no way of knowing if I'm going to be able to do this or not. I don't have a good gauge for how hard stage 7 and stage 6 are going to be. I think if we can defeat stage 6, that's going to be a dub. But if we can defeat stage 7, I'm going to be so proud of myself. So... I really think the limiting factor is going to be the amount of gold I have. I have 2 million gold. It's about 90,000 gold per an attack. So that means... I mean, I have 20 attacks, basically. I have 20 defenses against Hammerman. I'm probably going to quit if it gets to that much. But okay. I say I want to defeat Hammerman, but then I literally lose on the second stage, which is honestly a really bad sign to start this off. So I think we'll do one hot pot, two microwavers. I think that might be the meta. I do like hot pots. They are strong. They're able to take down a lot of heavies really fast. And honestly, like the microwaver is also good, but bombardiers versus the microwaver, the bombardiers are going to win. Grenadiers versus the microwaver, grenadiers are going to win. But the hot pot is going to go down when troops are not in range, and it'll be very, very nice for those long-range troops. So we need at least one of them. And we're going to be able to do this. I mean, also the hot pot is a lot better against tanks, so that's why I like having one of them. And uh, we only have one left. The hot pot is going to help finish it up. Stage 2 drops nice and easy. I don't remember what stage I pushed up to. Last time I did Hammerman Strikes Back, I want to say it was like 5, but I probably wasn't able to defeat 5. Guys, people don't realize how hard defending Hammerman is at a low level. When you're a low level, you get slaughtered. It's really, really hard to win. It's made for more higher level players, but honestly, I love it. I think it scales perfectly. Honestly, I wish Imitation Game was the same way, where... I would need to boost up my offensive statues on this account to beat Imitation Game. I love it. I love it, though. Yeah, I think it scales in a very nice way, especially for higher level players. I don't think I would change anything about defending Hammerman. This stage is going to be really hard, though, but I think if we can get down a Microwaver on the left-hand side, we'll be fine. And honestly, we might need to drop two Microwavers. One down here, one up there, and then have my Hot Pot back there. Let's just do the two microwavers to try to save as much gold as we can. That's a lot of troops that are left living. Stage 4 does not mess around. But I still have two proto troops or prototypes that I can drop down. So I think we'll do two microwavers. I think that might be the move. So I'm going to put one over here. I'm going to move it in a sec. So don't worry about that bad placement. And then we'll do my other one over here. Wait a sec. Prototypes place two of two. Uh, oh, shoot. I need to jump. Frick. That's, a, that's actually really bad. Okay. Can we maybe like... <laughs> what am I doing for this video, guys? What am I doing? You guys better drop a like. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. We're going to we're gonna upgrade this. We're going to spend 500 diamonds to gym up a weapon lab, I never thought I would see the day, and that will allow me to drop three. I honestly thought level four would be enough to drop all three of them, but I guess it's not, I guess it's not, and uh, we did that for you guys. Okay, microwaver there, uh, back there, and then we'll move some of my shock launchers, and then we'll put this microwaver there, and then we'll put some boom cannons over here. Boom cannons versus the versus the Grenadiers is gonna help. So, let's see if we can do it, let's see if we can do it. I've literally spent like a thousand diamonds so far, which is about $10, so definitely drop a like. All right, here we go. The reason I did it, because microwavers are just, they, they, they will take down any Rifleman army. Rifleman cannot defeat microwavers, so. All the riflemen here are going to die, and then I'm going to use my boom cannons. I probably... No, they're in, they're in a good location. They're in a good location. 
but the tanks are just not going down. The boom cannons are not strong enough. I think I need to put more boom cannons on the front line. This is why I have the microwave or the hot pot though, able to take out the tanks. It's gonna pop down. Perfect, troops are gonna move up. It's gonna take down more tanks. You have to have at least one of these guys. They are very strong, they have a lot of HP and they're gonna tear apart the grenadiers. A hot pot, or sorry, a, a microwaver, they would not be in range of the microwaver. I would lose, but because it goes down, they were, I mean, single-handedly helped me win that stage. That was a crazy stage four. All right, stage five, a bunch of mechs, but I also saw a bunch of riflemen, so that is equally good. Actually, the mechs are gonna be really hard to take out just because of how much HP they have and how under-leveled my boom cannons are. I wonder if there is a doom cannon in the weapon lab that honestly might be the move i don't know though i don't know okay hot pot is in range i think i'm definitely going to need some adjustments to this base but honestly we might be able to do it this hot pot low key might be able to finish up this base i mean hot pot versus rifleman hot pot's gonna win um, of course, like too many riflemen, but it looks like they're splitting nicely. Hot Pot's able to do so much damage, but it looks like the troops on top are just going to be able to take it out. I definitely think I can defeat this, though. That was honestly a lot closer than I had originally attended or originally thought I would get. So let's do this. Number one issue was the mechs. Honestly, I could drop these the very back of the base as long as I can take down... What is it? Mechs, riflemen, medics. As long if I can take down the mechs as fast as possible, I'm going to win. Because the mechs are what is tanking for the riflemen. So we're going to do this. We're going to drop these in the back. This is going to be crazy. If this works, this is going to be crazy. But it might not work. So just loading up all of my single shot defenses up on the beach. Also my, my hot pot. Because the hot pot is very, very strong. So, the goal here is to take down the mechs literally as fast as possible. If I can do that, it's going to be golden. So, I'm going to move those guys up and even just toss in a few more sniper towers. Again, the goal, take down the mechs as fast as possible. If the riflemen get past, that's fine. I'm not worried about the riflemen. I'm worried about, I'm worried about the mechs because the mechs are going to be what takes up the most amount of... Uh, the most time to take out all right let's put this on times four this is gonna be a while so far going well it looks like the mechs are about dead perfect mechs are all dead and i don't care about anything else i'm gonna get a win here because you will see how insanely good microwavers are microwavers versus any rifleman microwavers are gonna win they're just gonna take them out instantly they're not gonna get time to fire and yeah, easy win. Easy win. Beautiful. Let's go to stage six. Couldn't have planned that better. Honestly, this is going really, really well. Stage six looks hard. We have, again, eight max, one Scorcher. So I'm just going to do this first attack, see when he drops his troops. First off, dropping Riflemen, so I know I need to redesign my base a little bit. Honestly, the Hop Hot is doing really, really well, though. So maybe I don't need to redesign my base. Hop Hot ripped those troops apart. But again, we have to take down the mechs, but all my boom cannons are gone. So yeah, this is this is going to be a, such a hard one to defeat. Mm, yeah, this is going to be really, really difficult. Because the riflemen are mixed in with the other troops. Oh, jeez. This is going to be tough. I uh, I low-key don't think I'm going to be able to do this, but I'm going to do it a few more times to try to defeat this stage. Okay. I, I think I need a microwaver on the beach. You know what? Let's uh, redesign this. I don't like this layout. Let's uh, load up this one. Perfect. Okay. That just gives me a little bit more room to work with. So first up, dropped all riflemen and medics on the beach in the front. One microwaver will take down all those, not an issue. Um, and if I drop it there, then the next wave of mechs and riflemen will also run to it and try to take it out. And if I load up boom cannons up here in the front, 
Then as soon as the mechs are landed and are taking down the microwaver, we can even move these up a little bit more. The mechs are gonna get just torn apart by these boom cannons, but I need the, the mechs and stuff to target uh, the to target the microwaver. So we're gonna move these back just a little bit, a little bit. I really have to be careful because these defenses or, or these troops have to target exactly what they're supposed to target. If they're targeting too much, I'm gonna lose. So we'll move up some rifle or some rocket launchers to help take down riflemen and stuff. Move up those guys. We'll put another shock launcher over there. Last two. Uh, scorchers are being landed again on this side or, or just more riflemen. Scorchers and more riflemen. So I'm just going to load up the beach. I think this will be a very powerful thing. Nothing in here really does splash damage. I mean, the scorcher does when he up. The mech does when he blows up. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Okay. All these riflemen are going to rush over to the microwaver and are going to get slaughtered. They actually did a lot of damage to that microwaver though. And all of these riflemen almost took down, almost good enough, not quite. Still some riflemen that are alive. Mm, yeah, this microwaver is getting slaughtered. Something is shocking these. What? Wait, oh frick, you know what? This is crazy, but I actually think that the mechs, yeah, the mechs shock i think a little i and i think that's a buff from a very recent update that i just completely forgot about okay i'll be honest guys this is not gonna happen it's just way too strong of a wave my defenses are too low level the fact that my flamethrowers and machine guns are like level 6 and 17 there's such a wide variety of ranges I'm just not gonna be able to do this. My, my defenses are too low level for this. I hope you enjoyed the video though. I honestly thought I had a shot to defeat all seven stages, but you know what? There's always next time. And now people are gonna be very confused why I have microwavers and hot pots down with a trashy base like this. I don't really care. I hope you all enjoyed the video guys. Drop a like if you did. I also hope you enjoyed me literally dropping a thousand diamonds in today's video just to get the weapon lab upgraded. I also wasted three classified items. Guys, I do this for you. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.